let's solve this integral using the trick sub right so we are going to start off by letting x to be equal to the tangent of theta right so when we do that the x is going to be the secant square of theta d theta and now this is the integral in the theta world i is going to be the integral of one all over x squared is going to be the tangent square of theta plus x is the tangent of theta plus one this is going to be multiplied by the square root of x squared is going to be the tangent square of theta plus one and the x is secant square of theta d theta cool now i is going to be equal to the integral of one all over tangent square of theta plus one from from the pythagorean identities we know that the tangent square of theta plus one is equal to the secant square of theta so i'm going to replace that in the integral so tangent square of theta plus one here is going to be the secant square of theta right so this is going to be the secant square of theta plus the tangent of theta correct multiply by this is the secant square of theta so secant square of theta in a square root is going to be the secant of theta multiplied by the secant square of theta d theta right so i is going to be the integral of one all over so what this is this secant of theta is going to cancel one leaving secant of theta on top right so we're now going to have the secant of theta divided by secant square of theta plus the tangent of theta like this and then the theta so what is secant of theta secant of theta can be written as one over the cosine of theta all over secant square of theta can be written as one all over the cosine square of theta plus tangent of theta can be written as the sine of theta over the cosine of theta and then the theta now from here i am going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the cosine square of theta when i multiply the numerator by the cosine square of theta i'm going to be left with the cosine of theta on top divided by the denominator by cosine square of theta is going to be one here plus cosine square of theta multiplied by this is going to be the sine of theta cosine of theta and then the theta now next step is to what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply the numerator by two so I have two cosine of theta all over one plus sine of theta cosine of theta but i can't do that in order to nullify the effect of these two i have to divide the integral by two and then the theta so we have one half the integral two cosine of theta can be split into cosine of theta plus itself cosine of theta divided by one plus sine of theta and then cosine of theta and then the theta next step is to i'm going to add sine of theta and subtract sine of theta right so this is the cosine of theta i'm going to add sine of theta and then bring the next cosine of theta in order to nullify the effect of this addition i have to subtract sine of theta divided by one plus sine of theta cosine of theta the theta all right cool now i'm going to group the first two terms into one term and the last two terms into another term and split this integral into two different integrals one half the integral of the cosine of theta plus the sine of theta divided by one plus sine of theta cosine of theta d theta plus one half the next integral is the integral of the cosine of theta minus the sine of theta divided by one plus sine of theta cosine of theta d theta these are our two different integrals and now we are going to do some substitutions so the first one if i differentiate something like this if i differentiate something like this which is the sine of theta minus the cosine of theta this is going to yield the numerator of the first one right and now the second one if i differentiate something like this which is the sine of theta plus the cosine of theta this is going to yield the numerator of the second one correct so now the first one i'm going to do this substitution i am going to let u to be equal to this guy which is the sine of theta minus the cosine of theta when i do that 
then du is going to be equal to the cosine of theta plus the sine of theta this theta because differential of cosine of theta is negative sine all right so in place of the cosine of theta plus the sine of theta the theta i'm going to replace that with du now how do i find an expression for the sine of theta cosine of theta so i'm going to square both sides of our substitution so i'm going to have u squared to be equal to sine of theta plus r minus the cosine of theta all squared when i square this foiling these guys is going to be the sine square of theta plus the cosine square of theta minus two times the sine of theta cosine of theta right from the pythagorean identities this one is equals to one right so u squared is equals to one minus two times the sine of theta cosine of theta so that means i can find sine of theta cosine of theta in terms of u and this is what i'm going to have so sine of theta and then cosine of theta is going to be equal to what really it's going to be one half times one minus u squared right this is what i'm going to get now when i come to the second one the second one i am going to let v to be equal to sine of theta and then cosine of theta and then differentiate the v is going to be differentiating is going to be the cosine of theta plus i'm sorry minus the sine of theta and then d theta so that means in place of the cosine of theta minus the sine of theta d theta i'm going to replace that with the v now let's find an expression for what sine of theta cosine of theta is in this case so v squared is going to be sine of theta plus the cosine of theta squared so v squared is going to be foiling these guys is going to be sine square of theta plus the cosine square of theta plus two times the sine of theta cosine of theta now from the pythagorean identities this is equals to one and we have v squared to be equal to one plus two sine of theta cosine of theta and now we can find an expression for sine of theta cosine of theta in this case and we have sine of theta cosine of theta is going to be equal to one half into v squared minus one like this and now they can take the integral into the u and the v world simultaneously right so i is going to be equal to one half right the integral of this one cosine of theta plus sine of theta d theta can be replaced with du i'm sorry uh, du here all right so that is du all over one plus sine of theta cosine of theta so one plus this guy this is one half into one minus u squared right plus the next one one half the integral of this one cosine of theta minus sine of theta d theta can be replaced with dv right i'm going to replace that with dv all over one plus that is one plus sine of theta cosine of theta and sine of theta cosine of theta can be replaced with what we have here which is here so one half v squared minus one cool now the integral is in the u and the v world all together so one half the integral of one all over this is one plus uh one half and then minus one half um u squared right plus this is one half of the integral of one there's the u here i beg your pardon divided by this is one minus one half and then plus one half v squared like this and then dv cool so i is going to be equal to one half the integral of one all over this is three over two right so we can factorize like this is three over two let me write it and then we have one half u squared and then du plus one half the integral of one all over one minus one half is one half plus one half v squared and then dv cool i is going to be equal to one half the integral so here we are going to factorize one half out of the denominator so when you do that we now have three minus u squared 
correct this is du plus one half the integral of one all over doing the same thing here factorizing half out of the denominator is going to be one plus v squared and then dv okay cool now this one half when it comes out is going to cancel this one half right so that is going to be left with i to be equal to the integral because this one is going to cancel that right so we have one all over three minus u squared but three i'm going to write it as the square root of three squared minus u squared right and then du plus one all over uh there's no one half here because this half is going to cancel this half as well and then we are left with the integral of one all over one can be written as one squared plus v squared one's can be written as one squared which is one okay so this one this is the actan integral so we, there's no need to write that one as one squared and now from here we know that the integral this is the tan hyperbolic inverse integral so this is the integral all one all over a squared minus x squared dx this is the same as the tan hyperbolic inverse of uh, x over a there is one over a here so this is what we are going to use to solve the first integral so this is the arc um, tan hyperbolic integral so i is going to be equal to this one can be solved by one all over a a here is the square root of three and then the tan hyperbolic inverse of u all over a a is the square root of three we are done with this and now plus this one is just the actan integral which is the tan inverse of v we are done we can put the constant of integration but you now have to go back to what u and v are so u is sine of theta minus cosine of theta and v is sine of theta plus cosine of theta so we just replace that sine of theta minus cosine of theta i is going to be equal to one all over the square root of three and then the tan hyperbolic inverse of one all over the square root of three times u u is the sine of theta minus the cosine of theta like this plus the tan inverse of v v is the sine of theta plus the cosine of theta like this plus the constant of integration that is a u and v so v is this and u is that all right cool now we have to now go back into the x wall because the original integral is in terms of x so now we have to find what sine of theta and cosine of theta is in terms of x right so from our initial substitution when we go back to the very top we know that x is equal to the tangent of theta that was what we used initially we are going back to that to help us move into the x world so when we draw a right triangle here right with our right angle here so with our angle here theta our initial substitution is that x is equal to the tangent of theta right x is the same as x over one so tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent opposite is this our angle here is theta opposite is x over one right so now we can find the hypotenuse right so the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of the sum of squares of the other sides so which is x squared plus one squared right so the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of x squared plus one so this is the hypotenuse now that we have the hypotenuse we can find the sine of theta and the cosine of theta so the sine of theta is going to be equal to opposite over hypotenuse opposite is x all over hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus one the cosine of theta is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse which is one which is the adjacent here all over the hypotenuse which is the square root of x squared plus one so these are the sine of theta and cosine of theta in terms of x and now the integral in the x world is now like this i is going to be one over the square root of three the tan hyperbolic inverse of one all over the square root of three multiplied by sine of theta 
minus cosine of theta sine of theta is x all over the square root of x squared plus 1 minus cosine of theta is 1 all over the square root of x squared plus 1 this is what we have and now plus the tan inverse of sine of theta plus cosine of theta sine of theta is x all over the square root of x squared plus 1 plus cosine of theta is 1 all over the square root of x squared plus 1 don't forget your constant of integration cool now 1 all over the square root of 3 and then the tan hyperbolic inverse of 1 all over the square root of 3 they have the same denominator so we can just combine them that's easy sum x minus 1 all over the square root of x squared plus 1 like this and then plus the tan inverse of the same denominator so we have x plus 1 all over the square root of x squared plus 1 plus the constant of integration and this one is the answer to our integral right so this one matches the answer i gave in the beginning of the video so when we go to the top we see that the answer i provided is just equal to the answer i got as our final answer and that is how to solve these kind of integrals if you know an alternative version to solving this integral which is quite faster than this i would urge you to put your answer in the your method in the comment section and let me know what you think anyway i thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content and i will see you in the next one bye bye